He comes and goes without leaving a trace, only appearing at the most critical moments. He's um, highly knowledgeable. At the end of the special program, we might get a teaser for she Madeline. She has a cold and stern we exterior, might. and her spotless battle record has earned her renown throughout Fontaine. She but then again, I might be wrong, so we'll see. With an equally unique perspective on the world. And now, their voice actors oh. have all gathered here today to deliver the version 4.7 special program. Ayo, I can't believe we're actually all here. <laughs> Hello, travelers. My name is Zach Aguilar, and I voice the male traveler. Today, our hosts for the special program include... Hello, everybody. I'm Yuri Lowenthal, the voice of Dainsleaf. You may Whoa, know me from they got Yuri in the special program and occasionally drop in lore on y'all. And I'm Cheryl Williams, yeah. the voice of the head. What does you guys need to know? Yuri is a. Yuri Lowenthal is, is very nice most well known for his voice work as. Uchiha hey, Sasuke everyone. from Naruto, the, the English Champions voice to be precise, and, pew, pew, and he's the All right, nice. Peter Parker so Spider-Man in the Insomniac games for Marvel Spider-Man. I think it's the perfect adventuring party. Yeah, he's a pretty uh -huh. big deal. Uh, wild coincidence so it's kind of wild to have to a new in uh, the, yeah, the special yeah, program for Ocean Point for Seven. That's just destiny. Yeah. Definitely. You know, this new domain seems to be right behind us, but in order to complete the challenge, we'll need to tackle several missions first. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's do this! Right. Traveler, time. Paimon, would you join us and play Mar Shosei Hunter Judgment Day? This script was adapted from the real history of the Maro Shosei Hunters. Oh, you all a the of monster from instead. A era and resolve a series of events unfolding in the capital. Yes, I was wrong. Many of my habits are customs I've adopted from the Maro Shosei Hunter tradition. They fought against monsters. Damn, Kuri is hot though, I will say this. For when I draw my blade, I am but an instrument of Fontaine's Oh my lord Jesus, she's hot. He's sexy as hell. Time to testify. Damn. Madam Mage says that every page of a storybook I... is a segment of the present. CG. So vast and mysterious. There must be quite Wait. a story behind Ooh, this place. right. Setos. So, I'll explore this He's place a post, with you uh, to um, That's never Electro Archer. Or bow user. I haven't done the second Sino quest though. Oops. Move or Dude, I, I'm busy playing solo leveling and Honkai Star Rail. Okay. Yeah, she is. In there than I ever imagined. Oh boy, it's uh, uh, a syringe. Right. That's dangerous. Oh my gosh, she's. But she's cute. But at least she's cute. Don't be nervous. Strange okay. disease, <laughs> one I suspect that okay. every Fontanian suffers from. But they don't trust me at all. Do you really think it matters whether I'm Melazine or a human? I don't believe Master would suddenly disappear for no reason. There must have been something she just had to do. In the new Best world, of... they bade farewell to the Shrouded Sun. At last, they no longer needed to dwell on their suffering. Or try to differentiate between various thoughts of blasphemy. Such was the price they paid, and thus their souls became cleansed and pure. The way he's holding his sword, he must be a real Mara Shosei hunter. You used it yourself, didn't you? That's why you have a human appearance. That's what? quite the gamble. But I believe that I am the one walking into a trap. Wait. One day, I shall have my vengeance. That way, Captain Dainsleff could accomplish his own goal. The loom of fate has already been completed. <laughs> oh, please don't tell me. Traveler, let me ask you this. Do you believe your sibling to have betrayed you?
please do not tell me Ether and Lumini are gonna reunite. Don't know that. Don't give me hope. Don't give me hope, buddy. Don't. Just don't. Okay, so on a side note, it seems that we might be getting getting a new um, inter interlude Archon quest. Since Dane Sleep is in the trailer, um, I was I was kind of predicting that we might get a collab. The flagship event will be a collaboration event between Sumeru and Fontaine, but unfortunately, that is not the case. Apparently, it's a the flagship event for version 4.7 is a collaboration event between Sumer I'm sorry, between Fontaine and Mondstadt. And it is very high likely that the interlude story quest will take place at Mondstadt. Let's just see whether my my prediction is true or not. Considering the fact that I've been playing Genshin for the past almost four years. I mean, I've been playing Genshin ever since um, the very first, not just the first day, but more like the fourth day or the fifth day. Let's just say the first week when it was released. Let's just say I, I, I started playing this game ever since the first week the, the game was released. Ever since then, I've been playing it since then, but as of lately, right, I've been playing Genshin on a casual basis because probably because of the fact that I'm, I'm kind of burned out playing Genshin. Oh, it looks like our first mission is here. <laughs> Fancy that. Assemble your team. Oh, I get it. Our first mission is to introduce the new characters. All right, this yep. is getting exciting. Here it is. All right then. Well, how about we start off by introducing Fontaine's strongest champion duelist, Clorand. You would say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. In my role, so they started this up by introducing my um, do not matter. characters. For when I draw my blade, I am but an instrument of Fontaine's law. So she's a sword user. Oh my gosh, loading. The loading, oh my goodness. Ready. I got the loot. Where evil looks, oh my god, the loading is... Oh my gosh, the loading is so slow, what the hell? My apologies, chat. Oh, <laughs> those animations. Did you see that ultimate? So good, that ultimate is so cool. Mm -hmm. Clorand's strength actually has a really interesting origin. She inherited it from the Marachose Hunters. Ooh, the Hunters from the Artifact set. Mm -hmm. The Marachose Hunters were an organization that defeated monsters and upheld justice from the shadows. I think the group's name has also been mentioned in some of Fontaine's historical yeah. records. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, the Marachose Hunters should, have a uh, long yeah, history. Get, uh, to modern-day Fontanians, they're nothing more than an old legend from novels and plays. But for Clorand, the Marachose Hunters' legacy is really real. If travelers want to learn more about the Marachose Hunters, then be sure to check out Clorand's story quest in the new version. Okay, that's uh, what uh, that's about the Marachose Hunters. Kind of saw that coming. Perfect. Then let's get into her combat abilities. Clorand is categorized as an electro sword user, but she actually uses both a sword and a pistolet to attack her enemies during combat. Now, okay. her normal attack deals physical damage by performing up to five consecutive strikes. Yeah. During her charged attack, Clorand uses her pistolet to target enemies in a V shape in front of her. Mm. Also, Clorand has developed a special ritual over the years. She always polishes her weapon before each duel. That is so dignified of her. I know, right? Okay. Kind of adorable. Even the champion <sighs> duelist of Fontaine has a cute side, huh? Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah is starting to sound just like Sijuin. Oh, what? Though, it's probably a meaningful ritual for Clorand, right? That's exactly right. It's a habit that helps Clorand focus on the opponent in front of her. In fact, Clorand's elemental skill, Hunter's Vigil, is an ability that demonstrates how potent she can be when she's focused. Ooh, Check yeah. this out. During combat, unleashing Clorand's elemental skill will cause her to enter the yeah, main Yeah, she's literally main DPS. During this state, Clorand can unleash two different types of special attacks. 
Her normal attacks will be converted into swift hunt pistolet attacks, and her elemental skill will be converted into a lightning attack. He's really a glance, gunslinger at this point. Huh. It looks like Clarion gains a bond of life during her elemental skill. Oh, and she uses the bond of life effects? technique Ooh, as well. Good perception Just on like, those um, eyes. Those swift hunt Alexino. pistolet attacks increase Clarion's bond of life, and her lunging attack, impale the knight, will clear the bond of life. Wait, so she accumulates the bond with one hand and then clears it with the other? Oh, hey, that's a really good explanation. Yeah, okay. Clarence's special attacks have different effects depending on the value of her bond of life. Okay. So when her bond of life is, like, relatively low, her swift hunt pistolet attacks have a piercing effect, and they deal greater damage. But okay. when her bond of life is relatively high, her lunging attack, Impale the Knight, has a greater AoE and deals higher So the damage. higher the, ah, the, gotcha, the bond of life, so the greater the... So is meant to use her pistol to the accumulate a bond of life and then use her sword to clear it once it reaches a certain amount. And that way, both attacks hmm. benefit each other. Bingo! Though you should remember the effect of one of Clarence's unique talents. So when she's in the Night Vigil state, any healing other than the one provided by her lunging attack, Impale the Knight, will be converted into a Bond of Life. This unique okay. talent allows different healing effects to alter the pacing of Cloran's gameplay. So, travelers can experiment with a variety of different tactical combinations. That's cool. Okay. Also, although Clorand is most renowned as a champion duelist, she has never forgotten her identity as a Mara Shose hunter. So, during her elemental burst, Last Lightfall, Cloran draws on her Mara Shose hunter heritage to unleash an ancient skill that empowers an AOE, mortals to fight um, deadly monsters. This ability allows her to swiftly evade enemy attacks and strike her opponents. Her burst deals AoE electro damage and grants her a bond of life based on her max HP. Wow, that's so cool. Okay. But if that power is designed to fight monsters, is it really okay for her to use it in a regular duel? <laughs> Good point. I think Cloran just has to adjust the uh, amount of force that she puts behind those blows. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Also, Cloran can draw on the strength of her companions after unlocking her passive talent, Dark Shattering Flame. Man, that sounds cool. So, when a nearby party member triggers an electro-related reaction, the electro mm -hmm. damage dealt by her normal attack and her elemental burst will increase based on her attack value. Though, note, there is a attack ceiling value. to the damage bonus that she can gain she... from this effect. Clorand also has another passive talent called Lawful Remuneration. If her bond of life is greater than or equal to a certain percentage, then a change in her bond of life value will increase her crit rate. That's right. Okay. And while she's in the night vigil state, the percentage of healing converted into a bond of life will increase. Wow. Yeah. And finally, being a champion duelist gives Clorand a strong familiarity with all the regions of Fontaine. So when she's in your party, Clorand can reveal the locations of Fontaine regional resources. Oh, so awesome. <laughs> I'm sure that travelers will be eager to use her to oh, uncover shit. treasure, defeat monsters, and of course, uphold justice. Not necessarily so she's in that order. For resource so, hunting so, 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 in Fontaine. is usually pretty stern and composed right. as a champion duelist, but I wonder how she unwinds. Like, does she have any hobbies? Ooh. I'm sure that she has some interest outside of work. I mean, she's always accepting cosmetic products from Sijuin and making sure to return the favor because she's sweet. Aw, and yeah, of course she does. Clorand is an active member of the tabletop troupe during her off hours. So in version 4.7, travelers won't just have the chance to learn more about the Mara Shose hunters during her story quest, the mm -hmm. Ramparia chapter. They'll also get to join Clorand on a very special tabletop troupe adventure. Woo! I love TTRPGs so much. Ooh, I know. I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah. And, and I believe that TTRPG will that, be a key factor that is all the information that I have to share about Clorand. So, next up, let's event, introduce our adorable event little event siege Oh, yes, yes. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Too excited. Hold on, hold on. We gotta look at her demo first. Yes. All right. You only get siege one is body, up. so you gotta take care of it. But it's just as important I to take care of I believe she's a cryo healer, right? I mean, we do have, have a cryo... Oh, she's hydro. Correct me if I'm wrong. I need a double confirmation. He might feel a little prick. But she looks like a hydro character for the way I see it. Oh, okay. Unreal. She's hydro. Wow. I love her pills so she much. She's a hydro. Who has ears on it? I would love to ride around on a bubble like that. She's yeah. with her little legs dangling in the air. Oh. Yeah, with the bubble gun and the giant syringe. 
God, it's so cute. <laughs> Those bubbles right. are so big. Her kit looks really, really fun. I know, but but yeah, but but if that's the syringe she uses on her patients, I can see why they might be nervous about getting sick. <laughs> oh, for sure. Hey, sometimes you gotta take your medicine. And since she's the head nurse at the Fortress of Maripede, Siegewing wants everyone to stay healthy. She believes that taking care of your body is the most important goal. But she often encounters people who overwork themselves in the production zone, so she always tries to sneak them healthy meals. But she doesn't think that's a substitute for some proper rest. Oh, we'll take a page out of her book. Yeah, seems like you'll need to be well fed and well rested if you want to keep up with Sijuin. <laughs> for sure, she seems like such a caring and attentive person. But then, what's she like when she fights? Well, Sijuin right. is a hydro bow user. Her normal mm -hmm. attack hydro unleashes up to user. three consecutive attacks. During the second and third attack, Sijuin takes out a pill and tosses it at her opponent. I saw that in the demo. It's like she's literally telling her opponents to take their medicine. Here, Besides have more pills. She can have more. Shots Let me shove them pills onto your ass. Once the shot is held and fully charged, Sijuin's bow will fire slow moving ministration bubbles, well, dealing hydro cute. damage to her target. Just make sure not to release her arrow. Oh, and also, Sijuin uses a specially made bubble gun to fire a giant bolstering bubble bomb during her elemental skill, Rebound Hydrotherapy. The projectile bounces between nearby opponents, dealing hydro damage to anyone it touches, and restoring HP to all nearby party members, well, except for Sijuin herself. Okay. Sijuin will be healed a certain amount of health oh, when the bolstering bubble Sijuin bomb disappears, even Sijuin uses the concept of the bone of life as well. I noticed bolstering I, bubble I, bombs. I, say that three times. Keep an eye on the uh, HP nope. bar. Travelers could have a, a bubble blowing contest with their Sijuins. Would that be great? You can have that oh, idea for free. It's exactly like great blowing idea. bubbles. <laughs> The longer you hold her elemental skill, the larger the bubble grows. Once okay. the projectile is released, it will gradually decrease in size as it bounces around. Fair the enough. bigger the bubble, the greater the damage and healing effect. And if a large bubble hits a weaker enemy, they'll be trapped inside. Whoa. Guys, it's like she's trapping them in a cage of kindness. Like the right. You can tell she, she cares about them. her bedside manner is so strong. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, wait a second. Are those the orbs that Nivellette drops? It looks like Sijuin oh. creates two source water droplets when she fires a bubble. And it looks like she gains a bond of life when she touches them. How does that work? Uh, I can't explain that as well. Since she has training as a nurse, Sijuin understands how to make the most of a dire situation. Her elemental skill creates source water droplets. Oh. And Sijuin can give herself a bond of life by absorbing them. When that bond of life is cleared, Sijuin can regain some elemental energy based on the value of the bond of life. Okay. Ah, so Sijuin's healing can nullify her bond of life and she can restore energy for herself. Nice. That's right. While mm. the bond of life is hazardous to most people, it can actually be perceived as a real advantage for Sijuin. After she unlocks her talent, Detailed Diagnosis, Thorough Treatment, Sijuin's healing will be increased based on the total bond of life values across all the characters in her party. So is that oh, what is goodness. that one or oh, saying like she can make pretty, the bond of life a lot less uh, scary? Well be, um, <laughs> After using her elemental burst and absorbing nearby source water droplets, Sijuin will use the syringe to spray enemies in front of her. <laughs> this attack deals continuous hydro damage. Wait, that's so cute. Even her attacks are a form of medical treatment. Huge right. syringe. Yeah. I mean, hey, she just wants everyone to be as healthy as possible. <laughs> yeah, right? Sijuin wants every patient to get a proper amount of rest. After unlocking her passive talent requires appropriate rest, unleashing her elemental skill will also trigger the semi-strict bed rest effect. Oh. This effect will grant her a hydro damage bonus and several stacks of convalescence. When non-active characters deal damage with their off-field elemental skills, Sijuin can consume a stack of convalescence to increase that elemental skill damage. Mm. Yeah. I like how it's only semi-strict. Like, you know, <laughs> not super strict, because she couldn't be super strict. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little. Wow, so it seems like the Bond of Life mechanic is pretty integral to both Sijuin and Claran's kits. Yeah. That sure was a lot of information, though. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to see these abilities in action. And I won't be surprised if they will implement more... Just be limited to the play styles that they've seen here, right? As, as I understand I won't be surprised it, if they will implement more characters that, that uses yeah, yeah. the, right. the bone of life of combat, uh, mechanics are from very connected to the ocean, so Sijuin always takes care of her companions during underwater exploration. Sijuin is especially helpful when her friends are endangered by underwater enemies. She can use her emergency dose talent to continuously restore HP to her party member for a period of time. Ooh. Unfortunately, well, that's unique. So will lower all of their elemental and physical resistances. 
There's always a price. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool. That seems like a skill that would come in handy, though. Sijuin is always looking out for us. Ooh. Thanks, head nurse. <laughs> oh, <of course. laughs> right. oh, and I've got a quick question for you all. Yes. Have you noticed any differences between Sijuin and other melazines? Ah, hmm. well... I think her appearance and her interests definitely stand out. Mm -hmm. Like, if you ignore the tail and the feelers on her head, then she actually doesn't look that different from a human child. Right? How could you ignore those? <laughs> right. Well, I'm sure it's fair. <laughs> but also, she's interested in beauty, and she knows a lot about skincare, and she actually even contributes to the most famous beauty magazine in Fontaine. Did not know that. Oh, 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 and her medical knowledge. Right? We haven't encountered any other melusines who give medical treatment to humans. Oh. And Sijuin seems to care the most about the people of Fontaine. And okay. she's also one of the few melusines who work in the fortress of Meripede, right? Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, generally yep. speaking, not many people are willing to treat criminals. I mean, not even a melusine's open-mindedness usually goes that far, right? Mmm, Sijuin's does. You're all bringing up great points. Don't you think that Sijuin's differences from the other melusines make her seem more unique and approachable at the same time? Mm -hmm. In the Nera E chapter, travelers will have the chance well, to learn more this is about confirmed the as well. of this very it special says, melusine um, I in our personal story quest. Oh, so it's confirmed awesome. that Chlorine will get her story, story quest. quest. Didn't travelers um, mysterious young girl will version? get her no. story quest sometime during so these two Dino's are story quest? Mm -hmm. Well, travelers will now have the opportunity to add him to their parties. He recently left the desert and he's eager to travel around. So, Zach, why don't you introduce him? Go, Zach. Oh, me? Uh, okay, then. Let's take a look at Sethos's demo. If you're always asking why, you end up thinking yourself into a corner. Sometimes it's better to let go. I think I'll check out um Sino Story Quest tomorrow evening. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully. Oh, okay. Wow. His design is so cool. He looks amazing. Yeah, yeah the clothes so and the hair, I, I love it. Right? He's alright. Sethos didn't just get power and wisdom from his desert I mean, heritage. to be you, it's a uh, also fan, talented right? in Every single other Sethos character, some um, such as Elisa Corrine and Sijin, they're not the rainforest, the kids he knows the are not like bad, the back but of his hand. they're not like, and he oh my god, this is so mind-blowing. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. Yeah. You they probably just like, know where this is going, but I'll eh, say it anyway. It's okay. When Sethos is in your team, he'll it's reveal right. the location of Sumero Regional Specialties on That's pretty much how, how, how I see it. Wait, so I'm curious. He's lived in a remote desert for his entire life, and he carries the weight of such an ancient legacy. To me, it seems like someone with that kind of upbringing would either be, like, really introverted or just super arrogant, but Sethos doesn't seem like that at all. Oh. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Sethos is a very open-minded and cheerful person. As the mm -hmm. successor to the mysterious Temple of Silence, he had more educational opportunities than other people who live in Sumeru's desert. His responsibilities drive him to learn about other people and places. He has a very open mind, and he tries to be optimistic. In fact, his personality is a huge help in getting along with other people. So wait, that sounds like... Are you saying he's a social butterfly? <laughs> <laughs> I guess. <laughs> he's a pretty busy guy, and he lives a pretty varied lifestyle. <laughs> and he's around the same age as the general Mahamatra Sino. He occasionally oh. visits the academia, he's always trying to make friends in Sumeru City, and he enjoys browsing goods at the Grand Bazaar. But we've already talked a lot about his hobbies. Let's move on to what he can do in combat. Yes. Sethos' right. aim shot has a special variant when charged to level 2. He can't move when his attack is charged to its second level, but it allows him to fire a powerful shadow-piercing shot that can pierce enemies, dealing electro damage to okay. targets in its path. Ooh. That's Sethos's a ridiculously talent, long charging Black time, Kites though. Enigma can decrease the charging time of his aim shot by consuming elemental energy. Some elemental energy will also be consumed after releasing the shot. Huh. Nice. Ooh, useful. Yeah, and also I noticed his aim shots take a really long time to charge. So I think that means players need to store up elemental energy to fire the That's shadow like, shot. So in seconds? Hey, wait a minute. I feel like this is the first Genshin Impact One. character who actually consumes elemental energy while firing aimed shots. What? Yeah, you're right on. Hey. That's why Sethos has an elemental skill that helps him restore elemental energy. Useful. Okay. It's an ancient ritual that deals AoE electro damage, and it also restores elemental energy whenever a hit on an enemy triggers an overloaded, electrocharged, supercondukt, 
Electro Swirl, Quicken, Aggravate, or Hyper Beam. Seems like he'd be a very difficult character to use. A lot. But Travelers <laughs> I I also it. have another option for firing powerful shots. By unleashing his Elemental Burst, Sethos will perform an ancient ritual that was passed down from King Deshret's era. He will enter the Twilight Meditation State, converting mm -hmm. his normal attacks to enemy piercing dusk bolts that deal increased damage based on his elemental mastery. <laughs> oh, that's, that's cool. That sounds like a okay. mini version of the shadow piercing shot, only it doesn't take as much time to fire. <laughs> Useful. Okay, also, it seems like the records of King Deshret have a lot of powerful abilities, so, uh, between you and me, does that mean Sethos has mastered other mysterious rituals and techniques? Of course! Yo. I'm sure that the Temple of Silence has a whole archive of secrets. One of his other talents will also increase the damage dealt by a shadow-piercing shot for a period of time based on his elemental mastery. Okay, all right. Sounds like the Temple of Silence is a real impressive legacy. No kidding. So many ancient rituals. Sethos is definitely a talented fighter who can make full use of his martial heritage. He's similar to Kularand in that sense. Yeah. Oh, wow. We finished the first mission. Nice. I wonder what the next one's going to be. Okay, character introduction it. done. Oh, it looks like we'll have to uncover hidden secrets in our next mission. Hmm. What? Why, why are all you guys looking at me? <laughs> well, I mean, secrets though. are kind of your area of expertise. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All your character does is speak in riddles. Speak plainly, sir. Yeah, no, okay, that's a good point. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess I'm the only one who can shed some light on the hidden secrets. Oh, here he goes. So here we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Archon Quest Chapter 4, Act 6, Bedtime Story, will become available Bedtime in story. version 4.7. Yeah, Travelers so, will so the Archon Quest is confirmed? Dainsley, hey. who will share more information about Conria's past. Ooh, that's, that's what you guys were waiting oh, for, Oh, no. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And <clears throat> More also, low I, on you know, got to break out my voice acting skills for this patch, you guys. Oh my gosh, <gasps> words come out of your mouth? Hell yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. This time, Ether and Lumine will get to meet face to face. Ooh. And based on what we heard in the trailer, it seems like the loom of fate is now complete. So travelers can look forward to learning more about Kari Bear in this We just can't reveal everything right now. We can leave some secrets for me. These are important secrets. What are you, Tom Holland? For himself. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. You can call off the snipers. Call off the snipers. <laughs> right. Look, look, I look. I know. I get it. Don't pull a Tom Holland on this on this so, one, Zach. I will throw you a bone to help tide you over until the next update. I'll be sharing a special surprise with y'all. Oh. Okay. What is it? Come on. Oh, I love surprises. In it. Jim? You'll know very soon, I promise. Uh, but first, 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 first. Yuri! Introduce the event wishes. Ooh, okay. okay. So, okay, I'll I'll the, event the first phase of version 4.7, Clorin and Alhatham will be oh, featured I'll hate in the them. event wishes. <laughs> yeah. Sethos will be the new four-star unit that appears on this we'll event. Furina will be in phase two. And in the second phase of the version, travelers can look for the event in phase two. <laughs> and Furina. Yes, yes. And because there's never Furina is in phase two. <laughs> Star sword, absolution, and a new good luck! Bow, good luck to every single, single Furina want us out there! <laughs> I'm cool! Yeah, so, so cool. So good, right? But I'll hate right. him though! Okay, okay. Mm. I've made y'all wait long enough. He's the Let's best then good DPS yeah, to be Let's, Let's go! Wait, now what? Oh! The animation that uh, they, they teased um, a few days ago. Okay. But it doesn't scream Ifutable though. I'll be real. But the animation looks good though, I will say this. I won't be surprised if this was done by the in-house um, Hoyo, uh, Hoyoverse Studio. I don't know what's the official name but Why does this feel like the... I'll, I'll shut up for now, I'll shut up for now. I'll shut up for now. You see that coming. Journey of 
Know that I will always try. Funny are with them and right. Though the night's long and dark, I see you shining and bright. And no matter where you are, you've come with me this far. Showing the way when all is full of so good and another thing that i want to highlight is that the person who sang the song for that animated short it she really i kid you not she really reminds me of ama like i kid you not and as a matter of fact right this this the song style it really screams Amer, but at the same time, the voice, it, the person who is singing this song, is not Amer because it sounds like Amer, but at the same time, it's not her. So I'll be damned if that's Amer because she sounds different though. Because I, because I listened to some of Amer's song back when she sang the the theme songs for Gundam Unicorn. Um and some uh, some few other enemies like uh Dem I, I don't like I don't really want to use this enemy as a, as an example but Demon Slayer and oh right the 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 Heaven's Field trilogy yeah she sang all the all the all the theme songs for the the Heaven's the Face Night Heaven's Field trilogy yeah so it really reminds me of a the song style literally screams Aimer, but at the same time, this person who sings this is not Aimer at all. So, still, gotta give props to Oyo Mix, man. They never cease to amaze me with their good music. And they're really trying to pull off the. They're, and for the way I see it, right? Uh, Welcome uh, back, travelers. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, hey, hey. I think it's about time we introduce this domain behind us. Yes, yes. Bring on the challenge. I'm so ready. Dun, dun, yeah, I'll dun. Dun. So, so <laughs> the location the, from of the way I see it, right? They're pretty pretty really Paimon and the, the Genshin team is a secret room within really, the Monstat really library. Right, the best to an invitation to participate in a mysterious bring back in Genshin base to, to, to play the, the game because they know because. So that's right, the all new Wood Rings is happening. Theater will will available has, in version 4.7 for travelers because of who are adventure rank 35 or higher. So nice. Genshin Wait, is trying the best to step up the game mm -hmm. from the way the I see it. I know, it looks a lot different <laughs> from what I imagine. It's huge. But yeah, it kind of looks more so like far, a magic castle. Mm. What right? they're doing so, so far cool. is pretty Please. So travelers will encounter a concierge in the area who calls himself Wolfie. Oh, I know, he's so cute. Wolfie. And now I read that. Was created by a mage, and that he's waiting for a guest to take the stage. 
He is also I believe this is the, one of the uh, that guest events. will hopefully put on a magnificent performance by becoming the main character of the mage's story. Bring on that main character energy. Mm -hmm. Ooh. After arriving in this room, travelers just need to interact with this strange book in order to participate in the Imaginarium Theater Challenge. Wow, that was fast. Oh, Imaginarium. But what kind of challenge is it? Uh, let me tell you. Imaginarium Theater contains a series of combat challenges with different battle conditions. Now, only characters who wield specific elemental types will be allowed to participate. So travelers will have to select characters who Ooh. meet the requirements of the challenge. Mm. Oh, I get it. But what if we don't have enough characters in our roster who meet the requirements? Uh-huh, good thinking. But you won't have to worry about that. Because first off, Six characters will be designated as the initial lineup for each challenge. Trial characters will be provided for travelers that are missing any of those characters. Nice. And travelers can also invite special guest characters to participate wish, right? in the challenges. To this day, I do not have by the event requirements. In addition, I'll be really travelers can guys, also designate a certain I, number of characters. I, as a matter of fact, I kind of really want to as a matter of fact, but supporting characters to join their own I would team. never I ever pull a character friends, banner friends, because, for, uh, who, because of a full size of each other in stage combat. I tried that shit before in. Was our, yeah, and it really cost period. me. Those six designated really characters who make the initial line. It happened back in fantastical blessings. This will grant them buffs that remain potent or even outside of the Imaginarium Theater Challenge. When Rosario wait, 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 wait. is so confirmed to be a Blaber character. Just during the challenge itself? Yes! Wow. And, and then one more wait, time, okay, right? The the I thought that Rosario would be a limited oh, four-star four-star character. Because like so I, just I, now. I had the mindset but of, um, right back when I played Big Red Order, where there are certain four-star characters that are limited. So I assume that Rosario was a limited four star character, but apparently uh, in Genshin's case, so when you select your once a four star character is available, together, has been released on the limited gacha well banner, fill in for each that other. particular exactly. four star character and banner and will be available on the standard banner. Not all selected characters and I was like, will oh, appear crap, I shouldn't have spent my resources on the Wasabiya banner along where she was together with Tataglia. And that was how I got cool. um, Tatavia. So assembling your team is part of the challenge. Yes, which makes it even more fun. But let me explain a little more about it's the special thing, right? I'm kind of contemplating where I should be pulling to for Fantasia flowers to trigger events from during the story. Right. Now, some He's the best Denjo DTS character and others from may trigger certain perils. Uh -oh. doom. So travelers will have I'm to choose very carefully. Doom, guys. No pressure. Right? <laughs> Travelers can collect performance tour rewards by completing challenges and finalizing their performance results. The first time they complete a challenge, travelers will also receive a debut performance gift. Ooh, travelers who feel well, particularly confident can try to the star challenge condition during each stage. They'll be able to obtain different levels of performance medals that correspond with the difficulty of the challenge. These medals can be displayed on their profile. Go ahead and show off. And Wait. that's not all, right? Is this <laughs> Travelers can also obtain toy medals because during this, this event, which they can this exchange with Wolfie the screams that this is going to be permanent. In return, travelers will receive special poses for their characters when taking photos. Yeah, awesome! Right? Travelers will be able to take show me Raiden's pictures. I am show me Raiden's pose, buddy. So show me Raiden's pose. More poses will be added whenever Imaginarium Theater is updated. Yes. And finally, each performance in the imaginary theater has several difficulty levels. This really screams that this is this is going to be a different number of challenges. This higher difficulty levels will yield. Because look at the amount of primogems they're offering, man. As Wolfie the Conqueror likes to say, look at the amount of primogems they're offering. This really screams that this is going to be dominant. Special beckons, don't you hesitate. Just go open it. How can you be so crazy? Oh my gosh, you be pulling off his his awesome magnificent voice acting. It'll take time for travelers to raise the necessary characters and understand how they fit into this new challenge. And I'm sure travelers are always looking for ways to get more primogems. Yeah, 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 in addition, so this is a this, this is literally uh, a uh, has been increased from 600 primo gems to 800 primo gems. What? Yes. Yeah. More information will be available what? across Genshin Impact's official social media accounts. So 
Keep a lookout. <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. Ooh, the background is changing. Ooh, here we go, Let's here we go. see what else this version has in store. Yes, please. Mutual security enhancing simulation. This has to be huh. the flagship event. We see some hilly churls and ruin guards, so I'm assuming this is so one that, of those the monster So the Imagine Theater yes. is a new sort feature. Of. Travelers won't be engaging monsters directly. Instead, they'll be able to command monsters to fight in a cooperative simulation. Ooh. What? The Millilith will be hosting a strategic <laughs> war game to improve their understanding of security needs throughout Devat. Okay. They'll be accompanied by representatives from Mondstadt's Knights of Favonius, <laughs> Inazuma's Yashiro Commission, Sumeru's Corps of 30, and Fontaine's Special Patrol. Their joint exercise is intended to improve military tactics across the continent. Sir, yes. Yes, sir. Wow. <laughs> You're making this event sound really official. <laughs> that, that was my official voice. Uh, you know, I'm just doing my best. As I was saying, you can play two different I mean, kinds of scenarios. Range in the event, assault scenarios and defense scenarios. As special representatives to the simulation, travelers will need to analyze enemy formations and deploy the best units for completing the challenge. In assault scenarios, you only need to select your combat units and deploy them within your staging area. So once the scenario begins, the unit will automatically start attacking your opponent. So sit back and I don't know if you can relax when these things are coming at you, but try. Clearly not. Pew pew. Ooh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna give this a try. Ooh, brave. Oh, okay. uh, this is literally oh, How come my hill archers got wiped out so quickly? Oh no. This oh, is oh, really okay, okay, tower sorry, defense. Sorry, I forgot to mention something important. <laughs> but this time you we can command the. I know, I know. Uh, but the, but here we can we can the, fix it now. The the mobs this time. Units are more effective against others. It's literally like an upgraded version of the tower defense to like mini game. Trolls. But don't fret, you can turn a bad situation around if you choose the best units to tackle the opponents on the battlefield. Just choose Ooh. the best units, Zach. Exactly. Just choose the best just, units. Just yeah, choose, choose the best, best units. Simple fix. Simple fix. <laughs> In defense scenarios, you need to deploy units to effectively counter enemies who are attacking from multiple directions. So, defeated enemy units will drop support beacons, which can then be used to deploy additional combat units yeah. and... It's practically structures. an upgraded As version of the tower defense can use their leadership skills It's clearly an upgraded version. ...conditions for their team. And if they're successful, then travelers can obtain various rewards mm -hmm, from the Mutual Security Enhancing Simulation like event. Rewards. These rewards include... Primo gems, yes! a crown of insight, and a four-star bow, cloud forged. Oh, give cloud me. Forged. Okay. What's the effect, though? I'm kind and of And next up, we're introducing another combat-related event: endless forms, most martial. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing that this so one is going to test some different any skills. Yeah, you event betcha. For In the previous event, travelers only got to simulate combat, but Anybody? the environment on a real battlefield is way more unpredictable. And that's why it's important to come up with combat tactics on the fly and take advantage of battlefield yes. conditions. So, in Endless Forms Most Martial, travelers will have to defeat enemies according to the special rules of each stage. For example, some challenges may require travelers to defeat enemies affected by the electrocharged condition. And that is the only way to accumulate progress towards the challenge goal. Now, once they satisfy the requirements, they'll be able to earn ba -ba 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 rewards. I'm love the same stuff that I've seen yes. in past I events. Love rewards. Hmm. This another. So this is one of those challenges that uh, requires even you to strategize. You. Indeedy. Oh, okay. Let's move on to our next event. I'm gonna try this announcer voice. Now <laughs> what? I've gotten a report about a loud boom that just went off in a rather unremarkable part of Fontaine. Uh oh. Ooh, I like that news. It must have come from that crocodile-shaped cannon. It, it, that thing looks pretty scary. Never fear, viewers. I wouldn't worry about it, actually. Shoo. This cannon was modified by a Fontanian engineer. Oh. It's now okay. just a toy cannon that you can use to fire hydro bullets. So why not have some fun with it? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. well, why not indeed, if that's the case? Travelers will need to allocate energy to the cannon and choose the correct firing mode to destroy as many target balls as possible within the time limit. Yeah, It'll even it's be really a mini game. Trouble. Was there ever yes. a doubt? Mm -hmm. In order to keep the event interesting, special types of target balls will appear during the challenge. They will produce different effects when they are destroyed. So. Be sure to check it out for yourselves in the new update. Cool. You guys, that's that's my kind of yeah, old school arcade games because I'm an old school. Okay, oh, I'm just old. Anyway. <laughs> no, it's like, oh no, no, Beauty. no, no, not that. <laughs> let's, let's, let's not Take let's not go there. Let's the not go there. Let's monster. let's not Travel let's not remind everyone of your age, Judy. Let's like not do that. Recently Please. completed a new script. 
Travelers who follow her script will be able to embark on a wondrous journey of literature and imagination. And the script will lead travelers to oh, this again. locales where they will have the opportunity to earn rewards. That is, if they can evade bullet curtain assaults from, you know, various <laughs> Another event we run. Of labyrinth coins. No big deal, you can do it. Easy, right. easy. Another Wicked event we run. Will also be scattered across the field. Ooh, alliteration. I like it. <laughs> if you defeat them, then you can earn even more coins. Ooh, it looks like we'll have to move really skillfully if we want to avoid all those attacks. No pressure. Mm -hmm. But hey, don't worry. Travelers can take advantage of adventure techniques to gain special buffs. So these buffs will make the oncoming bullets a lot easier to deal with. Okay. You'll also be able to get rewards more easily if you're smart about how you use them. That sounds great. So great. Speaking of strategies, the new version will be adding more updates to the Genius Invocation TCG. Travelers can learn more Lee, uh, cards, Yunjin, cards, and Serena, cards. Also, more and more and to challenge travelers in the open world. What's but the name of the, the, oh, the well, guitarist earlier again? Because yeah. <laughs> oh, I never use her to be real. I'm so sorry. Version, so don't miss out. <laughs> Whew, that was a lot of information. Let's take a break while we take a look at the last redemption code. See you soon. Right, so I believe they um they might be talking about um the system optimization where they most likely will talk about the the resid uncapped from 160 to 200 and then a few other stuff and probably probably they might give us a teaser for netland region probably but to be real, I kind of look forward to the new Archon quest, Chlorine story quest, and Sea Dream story quest. I kind of look forward to these three, but other than that, pretty, uh, same shit, different day, buddy. Same shit, different day. And I was like, I was like, hold on, is it, uh, are, are, we getting, are we supposed to be getting a collaboration event, the, a flagship event? But apparently the flagship event is basically the uh, an upgraded version of uh, the, the tower defense uh, mini game where not only you get to plan the towers but you get to summon uh, the the enemies that you fought past throughout your your entire history of playing Genshin. So that's been that's interesting. But once again, but so far. Throughout the entire this entire special program, nothing is blowing my mind. I'll be real. Nothing is blowing my mind. Be real. Absolutely nothing. The 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 animal shot gave me a, a wow factor, but it didn't blow my mind. Unfortunately. So hopefully, the only way for Genshin to Blow my mind, and it's a true in back. the Netland um, teaser. Back. We're back. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the version 4.7 special program. Looks like we completed this domain challenge. Oh, was there ever any doubt? Piece of cake. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I think you'll find I am very, very pro. <laughs> now it's time to tell everyone about the new optimizations in the latest update. Yes, yes, I think it did. First up. The encounter point system for collecting daily commission rewards will now be unlocked at adventure rank 24. Hopefully, this helps travelers level up more quickly. Nice. Okay. And now for some really exciting news. Travelers Max Resin will be increased from 160 to 200. This was already mentioned during the the developers <laughs> you might notice um, from the video the that mode that which was will have some announced other optimization. Two days ago. Be sure to check them out for yourselves in game. This was announced during the developer's notice as well. All right, that looks like all the information we have to share today. Bye, travelers. What? What? <laughs> just wait, kidding. Wait, 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 no, wait. I'm can't. just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Of course, I wouldn't sign off without giving you guys the chance to to talk about your time here on the special program. How was it? I have things to say. No, I'm. I am just. I'm so thrilled to join this amazing voice cast, and I'm excited for everyone to get to see Siegeween in action and add her to your parties, I hope, and yes, just see how 
cute she is with her little pills and her adorable little syringe. <laughs> ah, take, take it. Oh my god. And like, well, thank you very much. I mean, yeah, she's same here cute, to everything but... that Sarah said. It's such an honor to join the cast. I am so excited that Corinne is finally hug? coming out. No. I hope everyone has fun uh, I'll be like, real. meeting no. her and learning more about her. Uh, and also, I, I'm really excited for these combat events. I don't know about you guys, but I, I've been playing this game and my favorite thing's beating things up in this world. <laughs> yeah, no, me too. <laughs> Love fighting these monsters. And and you guys, I, I have not been playing this game for years, and so while while uh, Dainsleaf is a is a man of mystery, uh, this game uh, so much of it is a mystery to me. And you guys were so welcoming today, and I learned so much. And I don't know, is this the thing that finally gets me to start playing? Oh, are, are you guys a you know, a gateway? Ooh. Is that what did that just happen? Did we get this him? Is it? <laughs> yeah, I, it's been absolutely we'll awesome doing this with you guys. We'll see if you I'm really so plays excited in, for uh, in your life. Of course, all the new characters. But then again, it is a busy man for my understand. Quest because I got some new voice lines. <gasps> oh, yeah. Yeah. He's big. He's big. More. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks for coming, guys. And see y'all in game. Bye see y'all in game. Bye, everybody. Bye. What? There. Melon. Wait. Was it? Oh my god! It's lava! Hold on a second, what is this creature? What is this creature? Oh my god, what am I looking at? Somebody tell me what am I looking at? Excuse me! Oh my gosh! It's Netland! It's fucking Netlin is here, guys. Netlin is here. Let's freaking go, buddy. Oh my gosh, that looks. I'll be real, man. That looks beautiful, though. So, okay, okay. Can we. Can I rewind that? Please, let me rewind that moment one more freaking time. I'm. S hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's rewind that one. I wanna, I wanna have a good look at it. And, <laughs> sorry, at Nedlin one more freaking time. I freaking called it! They really brought in the team slam to all! So, okay, so what is this six icons right over here? Are you trying to tell me that we'll be transforming into multiple forms of um, creatures? Once we need Natlin? Yeah. Okay, so I believe this is something like a a sensu. I forgot the official name, so sorry. So apparently we can Okay, so I believe we can tr Correct me, I, I might be wrong though But based on what I'm seeing right over here, right Apparently we can transform into A creep Apparently we can swim But then again, we can We can, we can swim normally at Fontaine But apparently we can swim fast From what I understand and as a matter of fact, like, oh my goodness. We can swim through lavas? Oh my gosh. We can swim through lavas and can we can and we can jump on platforms? Do what am I looking at? Are we jumping from one platform to another? 
And then we have this creature right over here. So we're now controlling uh, um, another creature where it can just where it literally uh, this is this something like a chameleon? It looks like a chameleon, and it's doing the same exact thing as uh, as we did in Sumeru, where we were literally doing a uh, a Spider Man where. We, we see a, a point, we hit on the event, and then we travel to that particular point. That's literally the same thing, but we're literally traveling in the form of this. Wait, this, 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 doesn't even, this doesn't even look like a chameleon. It's a hybrid of a, a bird and a chameleon, I guess, because it, it has the, the chameleon tongue. Let, 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 let's rewind that, let's rewind that. At first, yeah, I I mean I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. That it's tug it's rugged, and then it travels to to another spot. That is literally, it literally screams. It's literally the same concept as Sumeru. Okay. Oh my god! Ladies and gentlemen, we have our first look of Netland. And in my mindset, right, uh, on my mindset of Netland was like, I was thinking that, okay, this uh, we might be, it might be a volcanic area and whatnot, but we did, there, there was a lava area, but apparently, on the grand scale, right? Apparently, Netland is practically, uh, it feels like uh, an Amazonian um, area. That's what that's what I'm getting from this from this image right over here. So, uh, it kind of reminds me of Cosmo Canyon from Final Fantasy VII. That's what I'm getting at, but a lot on a large scale. That's what I'm getting from this image. Yeah, and I won't see, or I won't be surprised that we'll be encountering a lot of um, Amazon-like creatures in this new uh, in Netland. Oh, okay. And Netland, our Netland looks huge. That looks huge. I will say this. I kind of, I'm kind of looking forward to Netland though. I'm, really, I kind of looking forward to Netland, and I will say this. In version four point eight, I won't be surprised that they will dump a little bit of um information or elements of Netland into version four point eight, or maybe a preview. How Netland is gonna look like in version 4.8. So I kinda look forward to Netland man. I kinda look forward to Netland. And as a matter of fact, right, hopefully the story quest from 5.0 onwards is as good as Fontaine Arc or maybe even better. Or hopefully it's as good as Honkai Star Rail's Panacoli Arc. Hopefully, you're guessing that gets the similar treatment as Panaconiac in terms of story quest. Fingers crossed. <laughs>